I wanted to take just a few minutes to talk about the importance of innovation, a topic that's been at the heart of the Rockefeller Foundation's work since John D. Rockefeller first endowed us in 1913. Even a hundred years ago, my predecessors believed that innovation was not just a symbol of progress, but the mechanism through which to bring about social change and improve lives. In our early years, we funded research and innovation that produced a Nobel Prize winning vaccine for yellow fever and brought Western medicine to the developing world. By mid-century, our commitment to innovation led to agricultural breakthroughs in breeding more drought and pest resistant seas that saved a billion lives in Asia and Latin America called the Green Revolution. So I think we've long known the power and the promise of innovation. And today, with partners like NetHope, we've turned our focus not just to the products and the solutions that an innovation pipeline can produce, but to the pipeline itself, to the process of innovation, how to make it faster, cheaper, more efficient, more effective. Given the scope of the challenges we hope to address, nothing could be more important than strengthening the tools we're using to confront those challenges. At the Rockefeller Foundation, we've deployed process innovations like crowdsourcing to improve global public health and fight pandemics like AIDS. We've pioneered user generation innovation to combat hunger and malnutrition in Southeast Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa, proving again and again that social problems are more easily solved when the impacted communities are involved in seeking out the solution. And we work on expanding innovative finance mechanisms like impact investing to enable new kinds of philanthropic engagement for new 21st century challenges. One of the lessons we've learned over the years is that there is no greater challenge to successful innovation than fast and comprehensive information gathering. Whether it's the search to cure a disease or to combat global climate change, the research being done in independent labs by independent scientists is sometimes too isolated. Competition breeds secrecy, and secrecy in turn slows down the pipeline. But when we look around the world, we know that the challenges we face are too urgent to settle for innovation processes that are slow and inefficient. That's where NetHope comes in. And while the work can be complex, NetHope's aim is simple be a catalyst for collaboration, use its open innovation model to drive both private sector partnerships and collaborate with its NGO member organizations to solve problems, to share knowledge, resulting in access to the best information, the best technology and the best practices. By doing so, NetHope is shortening the time between idea and product, between product and scalability, and most importantly, between problem and solution. Put simply, NetHope is innovating the process by which we innovate. The Rockefeller Foundation is proud to support this critical effort. These are difficult, challenging, exciting, and hopeful times. Let us keep up the good work and continue to build a better world together.